everybody and today's topic I wanted to talk about egos because every day not okay not every day but very frequently I see people getting really really big-headed really arrogant and just developing a really huge ego and I feel that it's definitely easy for people to get big-headed and have a big ego because of the internet <laughs> what the internet has done it's done some very very glorious things glorious and amazing things but what it has done is enabled more people than before to experience a type of fame. You can be YouTube famous, you can be Instagram famous, you can be Tumblr famous, Twitch famous, you can become a pro gamer and get super well known and get all the bitches by sitting in your room and becoming really good at something. So the internet has enabled more people to experience fame. And what happens when you have people under the age of say 25 experiencing people going, oh my God, I love you. And like completely fanboying the hell out whenever they talk to them or see them saying that they love them, that they're awesome, that the best. When you see that every single day and maybe you're not particularly experienced in life to deal with such compliments, <laughs> you get really big headed. I see it all the time. They actually start to believe that they are the best, that they are awesome, that they are this magnificent human being, that they are better. They start saying, oh, well, you know, my uh, legion of fans, I love you guys too. It's like, dude, please, please, please. I don't think that any famous person should act like that but for being famous quote unquote famous i don't even think it's famous on youtube or twitch or whatever like you're th no you're not the greatest human being ever you haven't cured any cancers you haven't saved a country from poverty you are not the greatest human being ever and i see it happen very frequently i've been on youtube for a while now and i've got to talk to a decent amount of youtubers outside of their youtube personality or whatever and they're kind of big-headed some of them that i've talked to like really big-headed and really arrogant i remember when before i ever had my youtube channel and this dude i'm not gonna know i'm not gonna mention his name you guys probably don't even watch him because he's not even that well known but he wasn't around i think 30,000 subscribers and I would try and ask him legitimate questions about, you know, whatever. I can't remember what it was because it was like two years ago. I would try and ask him legitimate questions through YouTube inbox or Twitter or whatever. And he just would never respond. I think I watched him for about a year and I asked him a few questions throughout that time. And he just would never respond. And I just put it down to having 30,000 subscribers is a lot of people probably gets a lot of messages and can't possibly respond to any of them and then when i hit 30,000 subscribers i was like um yeah so this isn't actually that hard to still keep contact with your audience i've talked to some like even really small youtubers that say they don't like their subscribers they think their subscribers are stupid that's why they never respond to them and i'm like what <laughs> what these are the people that are supporting you and what you want to do if you make money off of what you're doing these people are the reason that you're making money off of doing something that you love how can you sit there and say that they're stupid or you don't like them I just really don't like that and I found that kind of attitude a lot in YouTube and twitch and all of this internet fame I found that attitude a lot and I, I don't know I guess it's hard for people who aren't that experienced in life they're very young to deal with constantly being complimented constantly being told that they're the best because they do start believing it they start thinking that they don't need to respond to people like why should i respond to you they just straight up look at your question and say i'm not responding and i think it's really rude i i don't know i maybe it's not rude i just personally think that it's important to keep contact with your audience. I think it's important to to do that because when you're famous, quote unquote, for something on the internet, it's those people who are watching you and supporting you that have given you that. Those those people are the reason that you are experiencing this fame. So I think that you kind of owe it to them to talk to them and answer their questions and be nice to them and interact with them and build a community rather than here's my video, watch it, bitch. <laughs> So I don't know man, those egos are getting out of control. Let me know in the comment section if you've experienced anyone having a ridiculous ego for something that they really shouldn't. Okay guys, I'll speak to you later. Bye.